Welcome to another great episode of American Rifle and Television, brought to you by Cheaper Than Dirt, your ultimate shooting sports discounter. Now this week, we start our four-part look at the handguns of August, meaning the pistols and revolvers used in the Great War. In our Rifleman Review this week, Joe Kirkenbach shoots the Ruger SR-762, chambered, of course, in 7.62 NATO. For I have this old gun, we look at the M1917A1 Browning machine gun, designed by John Moses Browning. But right now, let's look at the handguns of the Great War. Why exactly were there so many handguns made during the Great War? Why does there seem to be a particular emphasis on the handguns of the Great War? And that's because more often than, than any other point in history were they so prevalent. Before the Great War, the only handgun use was really with officers, and usually that is a badge of rank and to be used in uh, extreme cases when they were overrun. As a matter of fact, in the American Civil War, they often said you could tell when things really went bad when you could hear the pop, pop, pop of the officer's revolvers. You knew that it had broken through. Otherwise, it was a cavalry. You were literally running into a, an overlap in history. Here we had the end of what we call linear tactics, meaning modern technology. Uh, we had the first major global conflict in, in mankind's history on, on this type of a scale. And uh, we're looking at the, uh, the, the end of the era of black powder and the evolution of smokeless powder, which allows us to have semi-automatics and full automatic machine guns. Uh, but yet our generals uh, were still guys that grew up in the old black powder age and didn't understand this transformation that was taking place on the battlefield. In June 1914, a man named Gavrilo Princep fired two shots that changed the world. His actions led to war between Austria and Serbia. Serbian handguns in the Great War were really influenced by their region, the Balkans. There are a lot of different guns in Serbia, but mostly Gasser revolvers. The Gasser revolver is always of interest to anyone going through a gun show because they look so improbable. They have a bag type grip, very small grip, a monstrous receiver and a huge cylinder and they, they just look entirely ungainly. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.